have you heard the mystery about the missing Antarctic meteorites? Well, listen in as Damian Svilkovic, one of our Knowledge Bolide crew members in Croatia, tells the story with this awesome video he created. Thank you, Damian. Greetings from Croatia. This week, I again have a couple of cool new meteorites to show you. First, I've managed to get another rare Antarctic pre unsmet meteorite from Alan Mazur. He has been offering some fantastic historic and otherwise rare micros lately. This Alan Hill 76009 is actually my third Antarctic meteorite and it's a special one, with a very interesting and not that well known story. It was the last find of the very first Antarctic meteorite search that the US participated in, from the Antarctic summer of 76-77. This was a year before UNSMET officially became a thing. The Japanese already had a significant advantage and have been successfully hunting meteorites for a couple of years, but in the US people were still skeptical that a significant number of meteorites could be found in Antarctica. This small joint expedition was led by a still inexperienced William Cassidy from the US and Takashi Nagata, a very experienced and accomplished Japanese professor from the Japanese side. The agreement was that they would share any finds. The Arn Hills 7609 was spotted by a low-flying helicopter pilot with the words There is nothing out there, except that rocky moraine. As it was a strange place for a moraine that they have landed for a closer look and were shocked to discover that all the scattered rocks around them were actually meteorites. With a total known weight of over 400 kilograms, I think it's still the largest Antarctic meteorite find. They could barely fit all the fragments into the helicopter and there was much celebrating back at the McMurdo base. Here the story takes a darker turn. The meteorites were carefully divided, packaged and shipped to their respective countries. When Takashi Nagata received the Japanese boxes, he discovered that one of the boxes was missing. Investigation was launched and the missing box soon discovered hidden in a corner still at McMurdo, apparently broken into and most of its contents stolen by resident scientists and personnel as souvenirs. To add to the insult, what was left was shipped to Japan without any protective packaging and got significantly damaged in transport. This has temporarily really soured the US-Japanese scientific relations. Only a single missing stone was ever officially recovered from a scientist who was proudly displaying it in his office. Who knows how many of our fragments of this meteorite come from those stolen rocks. That's the story. I apologize if it was a bit long, but I found it interesting and beside William Cassidy's excellent book, I haven't really seen it mentioned anywhere. 